that has recently been tilled by the RT850 and we'll make some observations about this particular row. The drum that has gone down this row is a two-tooth drum. You can see that the teeth are alternating as it goes down the row. And you can follow that pattern all the way. And when the tooth comes out of the ground, it actually brings some material with it, so it creates a nice pocket. So you can see that the pocket is there, and it creates a depression in that area. When you go in and you measure the distance of where the teeth have gone, you see this is in the approximately the 8 inch range that this one has gone into the ground. This one again is around that 8 inch range. And this one's in that 7 to 8 inch range also. And you would find that to be typical as it goes down through the field. And this is uh, just an average result of what you would see as the RT850 goes down each row and does the tillage. In a, a field that was roller tilled a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we wanted to show that there is uh, cracks that occur below the surface that will transport the water as it fills into the pockets. We have done some other videos where when they pour the water in it will show us going to the next pocket. So we've gone back from the roller tooth itself and dug another hole beside it so it's not between the teeth at all. And we want to show what happens here. We dug down and the, the ground is noticeably wet in here. And we can see seepage starting to come into the bottom of the hole here at about seven, six inches down. So if we pour some more water into this neighboring hole here, now we can see water going into the other tooth area here. And it's not traveling overland, it's traveling under the cracks that are that have happened between the two teeth. But down in this neighborhood down here too, you also see how wet that soil is and the water is actually coming through the subsoil cracks that exist down there and of course you can see the water going down in the, the hole where it's being poured rather rapidly now you can watch the water coming in here now from this particular tooth it's just it's seeping in all the way from here roughly three to four inches below the surface but also down at the very bottom of this hole which is down to the eight inches below grade down there where the water is seeping in also so it gives you an idea of how much of the zone around the tooth can actually absorb water besides just the tooth cavity